Hello accessibility champion I hope you're doing well and I'm thankful for your love and support of my jaws and nvidia screen reader videos your support inspired me to take it a step further so today we are diving into mobile screen readers we will begin with voiceover it's apple's powerful screen reader that lets blind and visually impaired users navigate their phones tablets and mac machines we will also discover how voiceover is different from jaws and nvda there's one feature of voiceover that you must know and that is the rotor but before we get there comment if you are an apple user or an android user i guarantee you that after watching this video you will never look at your phone the same way so what exactly is voiceover it's an amazing free screen reader powered by apple for beginners a screen reader is an assistive technology that helps people who are blind or have low vision it narrates the content on a web page think of it as a personal assistant that reads out everything on your screen the best part about voiceover is that it's already on your apple device and guess what you can try it right now let's turn it on together to enable voiceover on your iphone follow me step by step option 1 is to use Siri and this is the easiest way to turn on voiceover on just say Siri turn on voiceover option 2 is through settings open settings go to accessibility tap on voiceover and toggle it on option 3 is triple click shortcut and this is how web accessibility experts do it let's set up a triple click shortcut so we can toggle voiceover on or off any time by pressing this side button thrice try this with me go to settings then accessibility scroll down to accessibility shortcut select voice over now triple plus the side button or home button for older iPhones and that's it you can turn voice over on or off by triple pressing the side button pro tip if you are building and testing applications for your us clients ensure that you set your phone language to english united states and yes you can modify the speaking profile as per your preferences all right let's talk about the big differences between voice over and other popular desktop screen readers like jaws and nvda first is the platform jaws and nvda are made for windows while voice over is built into your iphones ipads and mac machines also jaws and nvda does not work on mac machines second is navigation style if you have used jaws or nvda you have probably used keyboard shortcuts like pressing edge to jump to headings but with voice over on iPhones and tablets it's all about touch gestures you swipe tap and use special feature called rotor to move around at the end of this video i have listed out the most common touch gestures with voice over the third is the rotor jaws and nvda don't have anything like this because keyboard shortcuts are sufficient enough The rotor lets you quickly jump between headings, links, form fields and more just by twisting your fingers on the screen. And finally, the cost. Jaws is expensive. It costs hundreds of dollars for a license. NVDA on the other hand is free but is mainly for Windows only. VoiceOver is completely free. and built right into your apple device so if you are used to jaws or nvda voice over might feel a little strange at first but trust me once you get a hang of it it's really easy to use now that we know 
what voiceover is and how it's different from desktop screen reader, JAWS and NVDA? It's time to see it in action. Do these steps with me. Pause this video if needed, but make sure to follow along. Step one is to turn on your voiceover. Voiceover I on. did it Chrome. with triple Text button field. press. Is editing. Share, Swipe left button, or right. Sing logo. This should Menu, move your button, focus to the next navigation, or the previous and element. Banner, Double collapse, tap to activate a button or a link. Use two finger swipe up to read everything on your screen. Tell me in the comments, was it tricky or not? Now, this is where voiceover gets crazy good. The rotor is like a magic dial that lets you jump straight to what you need. Links, headings, form fields, tables, and much more. To activate a rotor, place your two fingers on the screen and twist it like a dial. You will hear different options like headings, links, and form controls. If you're not getting these options, you can fix it by simply going to your settings, select accessibility, then voiceover, and then select rotor and make selections from the list of options under the rotor items. Let's see how it works on a sample HTML page. I have modified the demo page that we used in our previous videos to make it more responsive. Let's begin with the default settings. Swipe right. Let's explore this page by simply swiping right and left. It should take us to the every element on this page. Voiceover on, Chrome, text field, share, button, skill sing logo, menu, button, voiceover, screen reader, star required field, full name, full name star, text field, required. As you just Double heard, tap to swiping edit. left or right is reading the every element on this page. Next, let's explore each rotor option. Let's begin with headings. Place your two fingers on the screen and rotate it as a dial. Lists. One landmarks. Two star required field. Words. Containers. Star required field. Images. Zero images. Full name. Edit. Headings. Four headings. With this setting, you don't need to scroll. Just swipe up or down with one finger and it skips straight to the next heading that I want. Terms and conditions, heading level two. List of certifications, heading level two. So it's reading the next heading along with the heading level. Let's do swipe up. Terms and conditions, heading level two. Voiceover, screen reader demo, heading level one. Next, let's set it to form. Form controls, 17 form controls. As you just heard, it announces how many form controls are there on this page. With the rotor set to form controls, I can jump from one field to another, bypassing any visual text such as paragraphs or labels. Let's move between one form control to another using one finger and using up or down swipes. Full name star, text field, required. Your skill sing at gmail.com text field d o b m m slash d d slash y y text field mail radio button unchecked one of two female radio button country usa pop up button double tap to activate the picker so it's moving from one form control to another and it gave me instructions on how to interact with this input type Next, let's see how to enter data into a text field. For that, let's go back to our full name input field. D. Oh, your skills full name star text field required. Double tap to edit. As you heard, it says double tap to edit and that's what I'm going to do next. Insertion point at end. One option for address available above your keyboard. So let's start typing. Tap S. S. Sierra. S. S. Sierra. Use your right swipe D to F move to the next G element J on this keyboard K and double tap. K and then. So. J. Julia. Delete. 
delete o delete k k i i i delete De delete delete i so now if i want to move within this field i can use up or down swipe so let's do it i india when with one swipe it moved to the left side let's do one K. swipe up again kilo and it's announcing what our letter represents watch this i will set my rotor to links and now i can jump from one link to another immediately links zero links xyz terms and conditions opens in a new window visited link as you just heard it says opens in a new window this is critical for screen readers to understand when they are on a link that takes them to a new application or a new window. Next, let's see how error messages are getting announced. I will save this form without entering a required field. We only have one required field on this page and that's for the full name. List of certif bullet, list tag bullet, was bullet, senior app, save your preferences button. I'm gonna double tap on this. Full name star. Description. Enter your full name. Text field. Required. Invalid data. Double tap to edit. Use the rotor to access misspelled words. Enter your full name. First of all, it took us to the input field which is having the issue. Then it announced it is invalid. And the additional information, the error message that we displayed, enter your full name. This is how we need to ensure that form validation is working fine across devices. Here are the most common voiceover touch gestures you must know. Let's begin with the basic navigation. Tap once and it should select an item and voiceover must announce it. Swipe left or right to move between the previous or the next item. Next, we have our rotor gestures. Use two fingers to rotate. It changes the rotor setting from headings, links, or forms. And then we have advanced features. Use two fingers to double tap and it will start or stop an action. For example, in answering a phone call or when playing a music. Then we have three finger swipe up or down to scroll a full page. And then you can use three finger swipe left or right to move between pages. VoiceOver is more than just a screen reader. It's an essential assistive technology that helps blind users navigate their phones, make important calls, shop online and stay connected with their loved ones. And once you master the rotor, it makes everything even easier. Here's your challenge. Enable voiceover and play with the rotor. Comment below what's the first thing that you noticed. Like and subscribe if you want more hands-on demo like this. This is Param Singh signing off. Till then, keep exploring voiceover screen reader.